So once you've added yourself as a Facebook developer, you can create your own app, which means that you create your own page. Uh, so we're going to walk through that real quickly. You log in to facebook.com slash developers and click set up a new app. And now this is going to bring up a window that's going to ask you for some pretty basic information. What's the app name? And you're going to, going to need to give this uh, a name that's really going to make sense to your users, but you can't use trademarks in it. You certainly don't want to use the Facebook name. You have to make sure that you don't violate their brand. And to make sure, read the Facebook terms and agree to it first. Uh, because you really want to make sure that when you create these apps, you're totally in line with the rules, right? So we're going to call this one a video tab. And we're going to create the app. We're going to be asked to answer a security question. And now we're going to be brought to a series of pages that we need to go through to create our app. The first one is going to be the about page. We want to give a little description about what the app is. You don't really need to put this in, um, but you, you, you can add a little bit of text there. Um, and you're going to need two separate icons. Now the icons that you're going to need are going to be a very basic icon that shows up uh, next to your app wherever it is on Facebook and that needs to be 16 by 16 pixels and you're also going to need to upload a logo and this is going to show up when people look in the app directory for your app. Even if it's not going to show up it's still a good idea to add these so I'm going to go ahead and, and quit, add them and come back. Okay so now we've got our icon and our logo added we can pick a language that we want to use and what kind of a support address we're going to have. If you have a website and you're going to offer online support, you can click URL or you can just have people contact your email address. You're also going to need a privacy policy and a terms of service URL. And this is so that people know what they're dealing with when they get your app. I'm just going to paste those in here. I'm going to make myself an administrator. And if you want to add more users, you can do that right here. So this is the first step. Okay, so now this is where we decide how we're going to integrate with Facebook. Where is this Canvas page going to live on Facebook? And you want to give it a name that you're going to remember and also that's going to make sense to people that want to use it later. Now this is where we're going to decide what URL we're going to be pulling content from. So you want to put in a URL that's basically where this base URL is. You're also going to want to add a secure URL in case somebody's logging in over a secure connection. The next thing to decide is what kind of a canvas type we're going to use. If we are going to do it, use this after March 11th, 2011, it's going to have to be an iframe. You can't use FBML. So we're just going to make this an iframe right now. You can also decide if you're going to show scroll bars in case your content's too big to fit inside the page or if you want Facebook to auto resize. Now, there's, a, there's pros and cons to both of these. But in my opinion, it's better just to make sure that your content is going to fit within those pages appropriately. Now, if they resize at some other point and change the size of the pages again, you may need to resize those pages. It really depends on how permanent the content is that you're going to want to use in this application. So I'm going to choose just scrolls, show scroll bars, and leave it at that. Uh, for bookmarks URL, this is interesting because you can actually change this so that when a user clicks to bookmark your application, they could bookmark an application on Facebook or they could bookmark a website or they could bookmark your Facebook page. If you don't put anything here, it's going to default to the Canvas page, but it is possible that you could have them bookmark something else. Um, now 
comes a really crucial part about discovery. Do you want this app to be discovered by other users out there? I recommend that you disable this, at least initially, until your app's ready for prime time. So there are a lot more things that we can do here. And of course, you're going to have to create the content that you're going to pull into that Facebook tab. You're going to have to build those pages, and they can have a certain amount of interaction. But for the moment, I just wanted to give you a quick idea on what it takes to build a Facebook page and to be able to create tabs using the new iframe system.